please ask me otherwise move, we'll move on to the packing okay so what is packing so again after picking the next step will be packing how you want to pack the materials okay so <coughs> it's not picking it's packing sorry <coughs> Sorry. So packing is a process of assigning delivery items to packaging materials. Okay, this produces handling units which can then be packed into additional packaging materials. So what that means is, <coughs> and the second thing is, in customizing, we define which delivery item category is relevant for picking. Packing. Sorry. Okay. So let me show you how you can do the setting for how you can do the customizing for packing. So if I open the item categories. Um, uh, define item categories here. Open pan. Open that. <clears throat> so you can see packing control here. Packing control. If this is blank, blank means can be packed. That means if you want, you can pack it. If you don't, if you don't want to pack, if it, if you, if you leave it, we can still do the next process. That means. You can pack it, but if you don't want to pack it, we can still do the next processing. That's fine. If I say must be packed, that means you must have to pack it. If you don't, if you unless if you do not pack it, then you cannot do the goods issue. So you need to pack it first. That's mandatory. Then only you can do the goods issue. Then we have cannot be packed. That means no one can pack at all. Okay. So leave it blank. Blank is optional. You can if you want, you can pack it. If you don't want to pack it, leave it. Okay. So <clears throat> packing. So this is the customizing setting for packing. Okay. So what happens is when we're doing the packing, system will create a handling unit number. Okay. So what is handling unit number? So let me show you this one practically. So for example, let me open my any um, delivery document. Let me open this one. So this is my delivery. Okay, so to pack it, what I need, you need to click this button. See this icon, pack. Okay, so I can click pack. For example, you can have more than one item as well. So the process will be same whether you're packing for one item, all items, or or what? What are you doing? Okay, so I click this icon, pack, and will open a different screen where I can pack it. Okay, so this is a screen. Okay, so it's in the bottom screen it's saying. These are the materials that I, I need to pack. So there's only one, it's showing me one. Then it's asking me what should be the packaging material type. What should be the packaging material? Okay, so packaging material is nothing, it's just like a material master record. Okay, so if I if you want to create your own packaging material, so let me show you in a different screen. Okay, so you go to MM01, the same way you create a material, but here the difference is uh, the difference is you will be selecting before we selected finished product. To create a material, but this time we'll be selecting verb VRP packaging. If you select packaging, that means you're creating a packaging material. So the next process will be the same. Okay. So let me close this one. So it, we need to search for those packaging material here. So if I open this one, and here I can search for them. So material type for that one is verb. The one I just shown you, verb is a packaging material. So here search for verb. Um, VERP packing, okay, and tick. <clears throat> okay, and here there are a lot of packaging materials, so let me select any one. Okay, um, you can say wire. You want to use in a wire basket, or you want to use a carton, or you want to use a uh, just see different pallet. Okay, so different types of packaging materials we have. Okay, so if I select a pallet, for example, if I select this pallet, CH something, what? Right? And I press enter. Okay, uh, so this is not the right packaging material. So there are some other settings involved. Let me select another one that I selected before. So Uh, this one I used before and it works. So let me use this packaging material PK05. So you can search here again. <coughs> so
so what pk05 is so pk if us click on material so here it will be sorted pk095 that palette okay i'll select this palette and if i press enter it will accept it right so as soon as i enter this one system will generate a handling unit number okay this is nothing is just like a putting a number for that pallet okay so <laughs> the next step is pack so i'll say with this pallet i want to pack <laughs> this material and if there are more than one material you can select that material and the other materials as well and after selecting that <clears throat> click on this icon see this one pack pack <laughs> material was packed you can see the message at the bottom see this one material is packed if i go back one step <clears throat> Let me save it first. System will create another line item here. Okay, so this is here. So let me open this delivery again. No, I didn't put any. Um, Give me a second. Okay, it might put in the next next step. So let me open that one again. Twenty six. Okay, so if I go to packing again, oh, that's a different one. Okay, let me use this one. Okay, let me use this one. And uh, if I use this material again, same way I can select that, select that, and click pack. Okay, pack. Let me let me save it first. Okay, so this one is paired into the into that material. Okay, so also uh, let me show you some other options as well. Okay, so this is you pack. So I have you can select like I have selected one material, but you can select more than one material to pack in a carton, for example. And as soon as you pack it, system will create a handling unit number. Okay, to create a handling unit number for that one. Okay, and the next process is, for example, now I have selected, I have uh, uh, added my material. Uh, sorry, I have uh, packed my, my outbound delivery into this carton. Okay, these two materials into this carton, these two materials into this carton, and all, and all that. Okay, now the second step I want to do is, I want to pack that material into a pallet, and all those pallet I want to put, uh, want to pack in a container. Okay, so three step packing, for example, if you want to do it. Okay. So that's, let, let me show you how you can do it. So in the first step, you have what we have done was we have packed this one in, in the pallet first. Okay, if I click on this packing again, so system has generated a handling unit number. Okay, now next step is I want to pack this handling units into further packing, packaging. Okay, so you need to click on the next item. See this one, pack, pack HU, packing, pack handling units. So first, I've, I've packed into the uh, Say this pallet and system created a handling unit. Now the second step is pack handling units. Now I'll click on this one. Now I'm going to pack, pack handling units. The same thing. You will select this. You will select this, and you will say, "What you're doing is so you're saying that I want to pack this handling unit into this packing material. For example, I will select a different packing material here, and if I select that, that means this handling unit I'm and I'm packing into this one. Okay, and you will click on pack again. It didn't work last time when I tried. Yeah, I don't know why. What happens is, as soon as I select this one here, it will change it to the same thing here for some reasons. You can see it will be changed to, to the same thing here. 